Hey YouTube. Still working on this mower here, but this one had a uh, aftermarket car put on here. <clears throat> and I was having some issues with it. It's the way it came in with this carb. Um, basically the issue is that it would run um, okay, but I was having problems with the primer. It wasn't priming. So in a previous video, I talked about the attachment that was on here. This little clip was on backwards on one of them. So I took this off. That was okay. Then I thought maybe the primer ripped. Took it apart because it had a little... I'm trying to find it. Look like a little... Something there, like I thought it might have been a crack. So I'll test this out. I'll just cap this and press on it. You'll be able to feel if it's holding that pressure, which it is, so it's not broken. So to figure this out, you really got to understand kind of how this works. So see around the outside here, there's one raised section. That's one seal, and inside there, that race section, that's a second seal. So basically how this works, the two holes on top. These two holes let air in. There has to be a seal here, okay? But when you push this bulb down, what you want to do is you want to seal on this surface and then you actually push the air through here. See where those two passageways come through? Look at this surface right here. See where those two passageways are drilled through? See that bar that's sitting on both ends? Well, that's basically preventing any kind of seal for that primer. So this carb won't prime the way it is. It'll run, just will not prime. So you're gonna get a little file and just clean that up so you can get a seal. Okay, I filed this down. So this surface here, just smooth it out. And that's going to contact on that inner ring. Okay. I'm just going to put this back on without the clip or anything. Just pop it back in. And then take a look at the main jet when I prime this. See if it's priming. Okay, this gold tube is actually the emulsion tube coming up. So we have fuel coming out now. So, again, a aftermarket carb. And I'm not doing this just to harp on aftermarket carbs, but this is just in the process of fixing this mower, what happened. So I could get this to start shooting some starting fluid in there. So the carb works, um, but the primer doesn't. So... Not a good quality carb. So, just something to keep in mind. I know a lot of guys say, hey, I can buy these carbs for 10, 12 bucks. It's not worth cleaning a carb, but you got what you pay for. Okay, so remember to like and subscribe.